iPadOS powers iPad, our most versatile device, and it enables our users to do so many things. Over the years, we've added features that make it even more capable, from jotting down your latest ideas and notes, to working with multiple apps, to spreading out your projects across displays. And just last month, we further stretched the bounds of what's possible in iPad by bringing Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro, our industry-leading professional video and music creation apps, to iPad, redesigned from the ground up to be a touch-first, all-pro experience for the next generation of creators. Our next release, iPad OS 17, takes iPad even further, bringing new levels of personalization and making iPad even more capable, starting with widgets and the lock screen. Let me show you. Widgets were designed to quickly convey information at a glance. Now we've made widgets interactive and I can take action directly in the widget without even opening an app. So I can not only see my reminders, I can also tap one to mark it as complete right here. And as I do, the widget gracefully animates it away. These types of quick interactions are useful in many scenarios. At home, I can control my lights right from the home widget and start playing an album with the music widget. And developers can add interactivity to their widgets. I can learn something new with flashcards from Quizlet and track it with streaks right away. We think these interactions with widgets are going to make the home screen so much more powerful. Next, we want to bring a greater level of customization and personalization to another space, the lock screen. Our users love personalizing the iPhone lock screen, so we're bringing that experience to iPad. Just tap and hold to get started. There are so many wonderful wallpaper options, like Photo Shuffle, Weather, an emoji, and new ones like Kaleidoscope with those vibrant jewels and flowers. Now, I've already got a few wallpapers set up that I'm excited to show you. Enjoying my photos on the iPad lock screen is just delightful. And when you select a live photo, we use an advanced machine learning model to synthesize additional frames to create a gorgeous, smooth, slow motion effect whenever you wake iPad. Also, we've optimized wallpapers like astronomy for the large display on iPad. Of course, I can personalize it and now choose from any of the planets in the solar system, each with incredible detail. And Earth just looks stunning at this scale. I can tap the time to adjust the font and the color and even change the font weight to get it just right. Here on the left, there's also a space to add widgets. The lock screen is a great place to see information at a glance and even perform quick actions. All right, this looks perfect. And that's how you can customize your lock screen with iPadOS 17. It's really cool. The lock screen gets one other feature that makes it even more useful, live activities. So now, right from the lock screen, you can keep track of a food order with Uber Eats, travel plans with Flighty, the score with Major League Soccer, or a timer. And we're happy to report that now you can even keep track of multiple timers. We truly live in an age of wonders. The new lock screen experience on iPad, combined with interactive widgets on the home screen, is a big step forward for how you can personalize and use iPad. Next, let's talk about an app that we're excited to bring to iPadOS for the first time, Health. The Health app has been designed to take advantage of the larger screen on iPad, so you can see rich details at a glance. And because your health data is securely synced, you can see your health information from your iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, as well as compatible third-party apps and devices all in one place. It's easy to see your activity, keep track of your medications, and view your trends and highlights. Interactive charts make your health data come to life, letting you dive deeply into the details. And for developers, 
HealthKit comes to iPad, opening up new ways to build innovative health and fitness experiences. Like Rise, who's built these compelling visualizations as part of their new iPad app. Next, let's take a look at improvements we're making to the way you work with an important type of document, PDFs. To tell you all about it, here's Jenny iPad is the best device for PDFs. They are built right into iPadOS, so you can open them anywhere, and they render beautifully. We use PDFs for so many things, and we wanted to make them even easier to work with. Thanks to new machine learning models, iPadOS can identify the fields in a PDF, so you can use autofill to quickly fill them out with information like names, addresses, and emails from your contacts. This even works on documents you scan with the camera. And if you need to sign it, you can add a safe signature or make a new one with Apple Pencil. When you're ready, you can easily reply back with your completed form in mail. Now, another place where we keep PDFs is in the Notes app. It's great for capturing almost any information, and it's getting a big upgrade that gives you brand new ways to organize, read, annotate, and collaborate on PDFs. PDFs sit right inside your notes. You have all the note-taking capabilities of the app, and the PDF is expanded to a full-width view. You can quickly review the document, flip through pages, and annotate using Apple Pencil. You can keep multiple PDFs in the same note, which is great for keeping related files together as you work. PDFs and notes are also fantastic for collaboration. When you're working together, you see each other's updates in real time. So as you scribble something down, the changes you make appear right away on your collaborator's iPad. Live collaboration even works with stickers and images. And when you drop an image into a PDF, you can still annotate right on top of it. If you need to finish later, you can use live collaboration from anywhere. It's even great combined with a FaceTime call. With PDFs and notes, note-taking and markup are going to be a breeze. And now back to Craig. So that's a look at iPadOS 17. But of course, there's even more, like improvements to Stage Manager, where we're adding even more flexibility to the position and size of your windows, giving you more control over your workspace. And you can now take advantage of the built-in camera on your external display for FaceTime and conference calls. And Freeform, which gets new drawing tools like watercolor, fountain pen, and shape recognition, along with a new feature called Follow Along that lets you follow a collaborator and track as they move around the canvas. These join other great features like the redesigned lock screen and interactive widgets, along with the Health app and great new ways to work with PDFs, as well as other features you heard about in iOS, like leaving a video message in FaceTime, inline typing predictions, and updates to messages. Now, let's turn our attention to macOS. Hey.